uh, experienced a relocation maneuver with Hay, Gorbanoff, Williams, and Wilmore on board back on November 3rd to move from the forward port to the zenith port, a short spin around the block to reposition that spacecraft where it has been uh, mated uh, and docked to the International Space Station since last November. Three and a half minutes away from physical separation. Once uh, the uh, physical separation occurs between Dragon and the docking port on Harmony, it will uh, begin to move above the station at a very slow rate of about one-tenth of a meter per second, then will move behind the station. A series of departure burns will then uh, put it on a trajectory to carry it uh, below the station and on its way to a safe distance away from the International Space Station for its deorbit burn that will occur at 4.11 p.m. Central Time, 5.11 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday afternoon to begin the final leg of the ride home for Williams, Wilmore, Hague, and Gorbanoff. Two and a half minutes to go until physical separation. All systems reported to be in great shape. The latest weather forecast uh, in the, off the coast of Florida at the splashdown sites indicates pristine weather for the arrival of the Crew 9 crew Fresh on Tuesday afternoon. Open and nominal. The first gang of hooks uh, has opened, standing by for the second. Springs on both sides of the docking interface will push off against one another to initiate that opening rate for Dragon. Ninety seconds till physical separation. Heading into the home stretch for Williams and Wilmore, the beginning of the end for a nine and a half month mission in space. The interface between Dragon and the International Docking Adapter no longer sealed. International Space Station and Dragon flying from southwest to northeast across the Pacific Ocean at an altitude of 261 statute miles. All hooks open. All hooks are open. And undocking confirmed. Freedom is free of its moorings. Sonny Williams and Butch Heartburn Wilmore begin their nominal. belated trip home. Confirmed. Undocking confirmed. occurring right on time at 12.05 a.m. Central Time. 1.05 a.m. Eastern Time. Good motion, good stability on Dragon as it backs away. Freedom, SpaceX on the big loop, depart burn zero nominal. Good opening rate reported by the visiting vehicle officer.
Dragon's attitude control system functioning as advertised. Houston Freedom on the big loop. On behalf of 3-9, I'd like to say it was a privilege to call station home, to live and work and be a part of a mission and a team that spans the globe working together in cooperation for the benefit of humanity. To our colleagues and dear friends who remain on the station, Alex and Vapor Tack Grill, we know the station's in great hands. We're excited to see what you guys are going to accomplish, and we'll be waiting for you. Green Iron's going home. Station on the big loop, step two, ISS thrusters are verified, enabled to crew nine. Safe journey home. It's been the honor of a lifetime to cross your path up here on Space Station. Your service has been very much appreciated and uh, we'll miss you, but uh, have a great journey home. And this is back. I wish we could have, we could spend more time with you guys. But uh, many people who love you and uh, whom you love are waiting for you. So safe travel, Godspeed. And for crew arrival, we ring a bell in Navy tradition. And for crew nine, I did a baritone salute as you undocked. So an exchange of poignant words between uh, the Dragon Commander, Nick Haig, as well as uh, the Crew 10 crew, the new...